Hello everyone, I am here today to discuss some of the most important one-liners for all food safety related exams. Here comes food as a substrate for microorganisms. Let's get started. So first, about water activity. So the water activity is defined as the ratio of a vapor pressure of a water in a substance to vapor pressure of pure water at same temperature and pressure. Water activity for pure water could be 1 at 1 degree Celsius, 0.593 at minus 5 degree Celsius, 0.907 at minus 10 degree Celsius, 0.846 at minus 15 degree Celsius, 0.823 at minus 20 degree Celsius. So, the methods for measuring these water activity values of foods are freezing point determinations, manometric techniques, and electrical devices. And next, about oxidation reduction potential. It is written as EH and is expressed as in millivolts. Highly oxidized substrate has positive EH and reduced substrate has negative EH. And about water activity of various organisms for bacteria 0.91, yeast 0.88, molds 0.80. Halophilic bacteria 0.75, serophilic fungi 0.65, osmophilic yeast 0.60. And next, aerobic organisms. It requires oxygen to grow. Anaerobic, it grows best in absence of oxygen. Faculty to These type of organisms grow well in aerobically or anaerobically. And next, needs. It's a high in B vitamins. And next, fruits are high in ascorbic acid. Egoid contains avidin, which ties up biotin. And mucin is produced by the strains of Streptococcus lactis. Inner parts of whole healthy tissues of living plants and animals are low in microbial content and sterile. And next, pseudomonas. It grows well in food containing nitrates. Many kinds of molds are proteolytic. Proteolytic organisms utilize hydrolysis products of proteins, peptides, and amino acids. And next, foods with low pH values below 4.5 are not readily spoiled by bacteria, but more susceptible to spoilage by yeast and molds. Organisms that grow over a wide range of pH are molds. Avidin is present in eggs. And next, browning of sugar syrups results in the production of furfural. Water of crystallization or hydration is usually unavailable to microorganisms. So, if you have any doubt, please ask under the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.